Hey everyone, so today I have a fun video for all of you. I'm doing a Q&A. So these are some questions that I've accumulated over the past few weeks that I've been asked quite frequently. So I thought I'd answer them all in one video so I could give you all some answers and some just interesting facts about me. So I have a couple different categories. I have a just kind of fun personal questions. I have um, some questions actually a lot of you uh, were curious about my dance. And then also um, some fashion and beauty questions and some blog questions as well. So let's get right into the questions. I have them all on my phone right here. So the first question is how old are you? I am 23 years old and I just turned 23 in April. Next question, how tall are you? I am five foot seven. Now to some fashion and beauty questions. Um, what is your favorite beauty brand? Now this is a really hard one because I don't I don't buy like every makeup product within a certain brand. I like to branch out and I'll have like a foundation for one brand brand or an eyeliner for another. But the brand I've been pretty consistent with lately, if I had to name one, would be Laura Mercier. I've had their foundation for about like four or five years, I want to say. So it's a brand I've been repurchasing and repurchasing for a long time. I love the Silk Cream Foundation. Next question is my favorite place to shop for beauty products. Now this is another hard one. These are like really hard questions, especially in the beauty category um, because there's so many great products out there. But if my favorite place to shop for beauty would either be between Sephora and Nordstrom. And if I had to pick one, I'd probably pick Nordstrom because they're super, super helpful there and you get free samples. And I just love racking up points on my points card. So um, yeah, you get like Nordstrom notes after you buy a certain amount. So I really like uh, the rewards there too. Next question is, if you could only shop at one clothing store, what would it be? Um, I'd probably have to say if I could only shop at one store, I would pick a department store because they have a lot of um, different brands and everything. I definitely would say Nordstrom, no question. I literally love going there because you have they have beauty there, they have shoes there, they have clothing, um, sleepwear, everything. They even have a cafe in there. So I love Nordstrom because they have great brands, high end and low end, and they have really good prices. So I find myself shopping there a lot because I have great stock also like on my blog and everything. I like to link to Nordstrom because they always have a great amount of stock so things don't sell out as quickly. So next are some dance questions. I was actually quite surprised at how many of you wanted to know about my dance as I recently did a blog post. I recently did a kind of dance inspired blog post. A lot of you responded well to it and wanted to know more. So um, the first question is how long have you been dancing and how long have you been teaching dance? Um, so the, to answer the first question, I've been dancing since I was three years old and I'm 23. So I'd say about like 19, 20 years I've been dancing. And what a lot of you may or may not know is um, I've been teaching dance. So that's the next question. I, how long have I been teaching dance? I've been teaching dance for about four years, a little over four years. Um, and it has been literally the one of the best jobs I've ever had so far. It's so rewarding and I can't believe I get to do what I love as my job. And um, you know, I couldn't ask for better students. They're so sweet and I look at them as like little sisters for me. So I um, just really enjoy everything about it. The choreography, being creative and having that space where I could just get away from the real world and just be in dance mode. I literally love it so much. I love going in there and I find it very rare that people could say they can't wait to go to work and I really do. Also just seeing my students grow to be um, just amazing dancers. Um, you know, to see the progress they've made over the years, it's truly rewarding. And to think that I have an effect on someone's life and I could be an inspiration and motivator for them, it's super special to me and I feel really great um, going to work and being able to do that. So the next question is, what style of dance do you like best? Um, probably, if I have a hard time between jazz and ballet. Um, and also lyrical dance, but um, I'd probably say I'm, this is like another hard one because I, I can't just pick one, but I really love the look of ballet, but I'm probably most creative with jazz. So I'm just gonna go with ballet as my favorite, but second, close, close second is jazz. Next question is how often do you work out? 
Um, I work out besides like at the studio I do like conditioning class and stuff like that so I do get exercise in there and I take class sometimes with the girls but um, I besides that I do um, I do try to get abs in every day even five minutes just to condition and tone I'll do squats I'll do um, arm like low weight high reps that's what I find is best for um, toning my arms but um, you know I have a whole blog post that I just recently did on how um, what I do to work out and five motivational tips to working out so I'll link it below you could check out that post so it'll explain way more and way more depth um, so you could check that out if you want to now it's on to the last couple questions they are about my blog and any tips for fashion bloggers starting out the first tip I have is to be yourself and I know almost everybody says that but you have to really take that and really work at that because if you try to be anyone else or you try to emulate anyone else but yourself it's gonna come off to people eventually and it's not gonna be as genuine to your audience you really need to speak to your audience and build literally a brand and the next tip that I have for you is to be consistent whatever it is if you're posting a blog on Monday and Wednesday or Monday Wednesday Friday whatever your schedule is just be consistent you don't want to do like five posts in a week and then disappear the next week you have to be consistent because your audience is looking for that and if you don't post that week then you know they're gonna go to someone else so you really want to be consistent with your posts and then the very last question is how did you come up with your blog name laceandlashes.com um, it was actually inspired by um, first off lace I wanted something to represent beauty and fashion so I picked laces I thought it was super feminine and girly so I picked that as like to represent the fashion aspect and then for lashes many of you may know from my past YouTube videos I was really um, known for my mascara videos and lashes so I chose lashes so lace and lashes I thought it was super girly and feminine and it kind of surrounded my brand so those are all the questions um, I hope all of you enjoyed and got to know a little bit more about me I thought this was super fun I love answering questions from all of you and connecting with you so if you want to connect more I have all my social media links down below I have snapchat um, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, um, as well as my blog, laceandlashes.com. So go check those out if you want to see more on there. And I will talk to you very soon in my next video. Bye!